everyone, I'm Ayla, the science educator for Ocean First Institute. Welcome back to another at-home ocean exploration activity. In today's activity, we're going to be learning about the formation of ocean currents. Currents are incredibly important. They control weather patterns around the world and can carry things across different oceans. Scientists like to understand them because, among other things, they can help us see why certain areas like the North Pacific trash vortex can form and help us cut down on pollution in our oceans. Ocean currents form as a result of cold water close to the surface sinking down and swapping places with warmer water. This cyclical motion causes vertical currents, and we can see how those form in today's activity. For the activity, you're going to need a clear dish, like this one, very, very cold water, I definitely recommend icing it down, and very, very hot water. I just took this off the stove, so it was boiling. You're also going to need blue food coloring and red food coloring so you can see the patterns form as the hot water combines with the cold water. You're going to start this activity by dyeing the cold water blue. Put a couple droplets in there and stir it up. Now, you don't want this to get too dark because you still want to be able to see how the currents form without the blue overpowering the red of the hot water. That is just about right. You're then going to start by pouring your cold water into the dish. We don't want to have the ice chunks floating around in there because that could change the outcome of this experiment. So you want to filter it through there. You're only going to fill up this about halfway, maybe only a third of the way with cold water. Now, once we got it in there, I think that my blue is a little light. So I'm just going to add another drop or two of food coloring to see if we can change that. Like with any of our experiments that involve water, you'll want to put a towel down at the beginning to prevent it from getting too messy. All right, so now our blue water represents the cold water, and we're gonna add some red food coloring to the super, super hot water. Again, you don't want it to be too, too dark. I'm just gonna stir this in. It's more of a lovely orange color, but that's okay. All right, once you feel like your hot water is sufficiently red, or in our case, somewhat orange, you can begin the actual experiment. All you're gonna do is take the hot water, pick a corner of the dish, and pour it into that cold water. Do you see that swirling effect that's taking place? That's how ocean currents are forming. This is gonna continue happening as we continue to add hot water. This is an easy way to understand how the temperature and thus the density of the water influences the development of ocean currents. Currents are really important to understand, especially for ocean conservation stewards who wanna prevent things like plastic pollution from continuing to happen. A piece of trash on a beach in California could make its way all the way across the ocean and the globe as a result of currents and gyres. Generally, we really encourage prevention of the use of single-use plastic and picking up trash whenever you see it, and those are great ways to help protect the ocean and prevent plastic pollution. But these videos are being made in interesting times when we have the health of our community at our forefront. So one thing you can absolutely do from home, in addition to these experiments, is continuing to educate yourself and others about how we can protect the ocean, even from places like Colorado. Thank you so much for joining me today, and check back soon for more at-home ocean science exploration activities.